no B-Class hatchback has been as popular with US as the second generation Fabia. The machine is still in the price, but when purchasing it, you should choose the correct modification. The charged version of the hatchback was equipped with a 180 horsepower twin supercharged TSI 1.4 petrol. The model enjoyed some popularity. In addition, the Fabia Combi station wagon was assembled in Russia, although for some reason this modification did not find much response from buyers. The model was warmly welcomed in Russia in 2007, even though it was an unpopular super mini hatchback. Fabia arrived with three petrol engines 1.2, 1.4, and 1.6. Diesels were left in Europe, so the prices in Skoda showrooms were delicious then. In 2010, Restyling and modernization took place, TSI turbo engines appeared, a 180 horsepower charged version of RS, as well as the robot DSG with all the ensuing consequences. But this did not affect the popularity of the model much. She was loved for gambling handling, ergonomics, and practicality. Supercharged engines on the secondary, a rarity, less than 7%, so we look at the MPI aspirated. Not all of them are good guys, although there are cars on the market. As they say, 300 plus junior and senior, 1.2 and 1.6, chain. The chain resource of a 70 horsepower 1.2 does not exceed 100,000 kilometers, and its replacement costs a lot. To get a return, the motor has to be twisted harder. All motors, especially smaller ones, have problems with thermal regulation. There is also a problematic startup in the winter and especially a long warm up. They are also characterized by frequent failures of ignition coils. But the mass slows her on runs after 120 to 150,000 kilometers to a greater extent is the lot of the elders. They are, however, more reliable. Many are confused by frequent problems with the throttle, which every now and then requires flushing from a 105 horsepower 1.6. The machine, which was installed with 1.6 MPI, is quite good, although its cooling system leaves much to be desired. The weak point is the valve body after 150,000 km B mechanics, occasionally you can fly into the replacement of the bearings of the drive shaft. But the DSG of those years, for well-known reasons, is best avoided. CV joints, if the anthers are intact, last a long time, as do the brakes. Wheel bearings, too, if you avoid potholes. Worse with power steering and its electric pump. Seals wear out over time and monitoring of the quality and level of the liquid is required. However, the electric amplifier that appeared after restyling, alas, cannot boast of such a margin of safety. Many people consider the Fabia body to be strong and rust-resistant, regardless of the place of assembly. Since 2008, the car has been localized in Russia for a full cycle. However, in older specimens, you can already notice corrosion at the corners of the front fenders at the points of contact with the bumper, along the lower edges of the doors, under the plastic lining. However, the salon is even nothing. The steering wheel, of course, will be polished to a shine on a car with a mileage of 150,000 kilometers, and the seat stuffing will probably begin to crumble slowly. But there is no particular crime. But there are a lot of complaints about the electrician, and this is considering not a large number of electronic systems. So is it worth taking? Costs. Fabia is a pleasure to drive. In addition, the cost of servicing the model is not prohibitive and the market is full of inexpensive, but high-quality analogs of original components, including a tin can. Transmission. Versions with the DSG robot are swept aside immediately. Ideally, the use Fabia should be chosen with a manual gearbox. She will last longer. However, the Eisen hydraulic machine, 096, which came with a 1.6 engine, is also difficult to blame. Automatic transmission, in theory, is designed to work with more powerful engines. True, if the valve body sailed and the car twitched when switching, it is unlikely that it will be possible to find a cheap solution to the problem. Engine. Many do not trust the 1.4 MPI timing belt drive, and in vain the belt serves properly. So the best choice is 1.4 with a manual gearbox. The piston resource for these engines is often above 250,000 kilometers. And the reasons for the oil burn are well known, valve seals, crankcase ventilation system with a breaking PCB valve and coking of piston rings as a result. If you change the valve in time and monitor the operation of the ventilation, then the motor has good chances. Suspension. After 120,000 kilometers, there will be an abundance of sounds from below, but at first the costs for the chassis are insignificant. 
and then every now and then they ask for replacement steering tips and rods, strut bearings, shock absorbers, and, often, solid blocks of the front levers. There is nothing to break on the back. But many cars with a bad road package note reliable front strut mounts and shock absorbers. At the same time, the two rear solid blocks of the beam can easily be witnesses of the natural death of the car. Body. Double-sided galvanizing confidently resists the effects of reagents in winter and rust is evidence of an accident and cheap repairs. Many complain about the accumulation of water in the spare wheel niche. The liquid allegedly gets here through the leaky seals of the fifth door. However, servicemen sin more on the seals of the rear lights. The treatment is simple, seal or drill drainage outward in a niche. Electric. Driving through puddles kills the generator. Up to 150,000 kilometers, the wiring is often frayed in the corrugation of the doors, and the central lock and power windows often fail. There is a lot of evidence that people often change the extinguished instrument panel. There are problems with the ignition coils and heated seats. According to the latter, at one time they even announced a revocable company.